Our world is home to an extraordinarily beautiful variety of life. According to Sir David Attenborough, the term biodiversity describes the total variety of life on Earth. Thousands of different wild habitats, millions of different species, and billions of different individuals with trillions of different characteristics. This biodiversity is not only the most complex aspect of our planet, but also the most vital. As humans, we are not separate from biodiversity. We are part of biodiversity. Just as planet Earth requires ecosystem diversity, species diversity, and genetic diversity in order to maintain balance and thrive as a whole, so too do humans, as a species, require diversity, not only to survive, but to flourish. Across history, there has been a tendency for human beings to fear our differences, to equate difference with defectiveness, or even label our differences as disorders. We think that it is time for us to rethink the way we view our differences. We think that it is time for us to recognize that difference represents diversity. And this diversity is vital to our collective well-being. The more genetic diversity there is among us, the better we are able to continually adapt to our environment as it changes and evolves. Species that lack genetic diversity are far more vulnerable to being devastated by changes in the environment. This means, as a species, we do not survive despite people who are different, but rather, the differences among us are the diversity that helps humanity to flourish. There are many obvious ways in which we humans differ from one another. But perhaps less obviously, we all differ in the way our minds work. Humans think, feel, perceive, process and experience the world in vastly different ways. This beautiful diversity of human minds with infinite variation in traits and abilities is known as neurodiversity. There are minds that sense the most subtle changes in the environment. Minds that have a determined sense of social justice. And minds that create stories within worlds that most of us can only read about. There are minds that seek patterns to process and synthesize. There are minds that crave words or numbers or images. There are busy minds and quiet minds, highly focused minds and distractible minds. There are minds that think deeply and feel intensely. When we value neurodiversity as a form of genetic diversity, as part of the biodiversity of planet Earth, we start to value our differences and see they do not require curing, treating, or masking. We see that our differences can be accepted, appreciated, and respected. We start to support each other to find a place in this world and flourish as individuals, while increasing the resilience of humanity as a whole.